Meet Ben. Ben has been making jam for a few years now, selling it at his local farmer's market. Recently, he met someone from a local retailer who wants to sell his jam. This is great news for Ben, but he's been asked by the retailer to add a barcode to his product and to provide a unique barcode number so they can list his product. Ben knows he can't make the number up or just use any barcode. They must be unique to his jam and not the same as on any other product sold anywhere in the world. So Ben needs a unique number for his jam and this number is called a Global Trade Item Number or GTIN. Ben can create a GTIN from a company prefix, a unique number he licenses from GS1 UK. And using this GTIN, he can create a barcode for his jam. And it's just as easy for Ben to create a GTIN and a barcode to use on a case of jam. In fact, as his business grows, Ben can create different GTINs and barcodes for each flavour of jam he produces, so they are all uniquely identified. He can create hundreds or even thousands of GTINs for all his products, now and in the future. And if Ben starts selling his jam online too, on marketplaces like eBay, Amazon and Google Shopping, then he can use the same GTINs to identify his products. But GTINs are not just for retail brands like Ben's. Other products like clothes, food sold to restaurants and even pharmaceuticals or medical equipment all use GTINs because GTINs are used to identify just about any product that's sold around the world. And this is all made possible by GS1 standards, helping companies like Ben's operate more efficiently. To see how GS1 standards can help your business, contact us today.